up from the inferno, magma and igneous rocks. This is all igneous rocks. These are granites and other intrusive igneous rocks that make up Yellowstone National Park. That's what we're going to be talking about today, igneous rocks. We start with magma, so molten rock, liquid rock, and we need to have a uh, volcanic activity or some kind of intrusive activity to generate an igneous rock. In this chapter, then, we're going to cover why does the earth melt? It doesn't just melt everywhere, right? It melts in certain conditions. We're going to talk about the movement of that melt, what the melt is made out of, <clears throat> and intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks, the two main classifications of igneous rocks. We will look at uh, different kinds of igneous rocks that form because of all these different processes. And then we'll think about how the tectonic setting can dictate what kind of igneous rock and igneous formations we have. Okay, so the top image is a lava flow, something like you would find in Hawaii. The bottom image is the beginnings of a rift valley where magma is coming up through that divergent plate boundary. We throw around some terms, lava and magma, but they really mean um, kind of different things. Well, really lava is a kind of magma. So magma is molten rock. If that magma gets to the Earth's surface, it's called lava. Once it's at the surface, it could be three different things. It could be in a lava lake, it can be a lava fountain. So a lava lake just sitting there at the surface. It could be a lava fountain shooting up lava. Or the lava can flow like a river of liquid rock. So that would be the flow, the fountain, or the lake. Those all um, are happening at a volcano. Okay, in the diagram, the top part of it here shows the extrusive realm where rocks come out of the earth. The magma comes out of the earth as lava or maybe as ash, and it's going to eventually turn into rock or a layer of ash. Those are extrusive. They've extruded out of the volcano. We also call those um, kind of rocks volcanic rocks. We um, call the products of those eruptions pyroclastic material. These are cooled fragments. If it's flying through the air, if it's a lava flow, we would just call that a lava flow. So those are extrusive igneous rocks. Go to the intrusive realm here. We have rocks that are cooling and crystallizing underground. So um, they can form as big blobs near the magma chamber. Uh, they can form as offshoots of the magma chamber. They can form as they can go along layers in the subsurface. There are different um, shapes that these intrusions can be. These are also called plutonic rocks. So plutonic rocks is the opposite of volcanic rocks, also intrusive and extrusive, uh, plutonic and volcanic. So the intrusive ones are going to be underground and cool and crystallize a lot slower than the ones that come out of the volcano in the extrusive realm. Okay, so the molten rock is not everywhere. It's just in certain places. But where does the heat come from that generates magma? Some of it is left over from the early formation of the Earth. When all those planetesimals came in and uh, coalesced to form the Earth, there was heat, that kinetic energy. There's also gravitational compression as the Earth um, formed. There's iron differentiation when the earth differentiated and we had the different layering form. There's that time when uh, a planetesimal came in and smacked the earth and the offshoot became the moon, those heat of that impact. There's also heat generated when meteorites hit the earth. 
So a lot of heat in that early formation. Later, like now, there's still some leftover heat being, uh, so that there's that leftover heat from the early Earth. Now there's heat generated from the decay of unstable isotopes. So radioactive decay uh, is continuing and that generates heat. So there's a lot of heat. This image here is showing some of the different intrusive um, uh, structures. So we'll, we'll talk about those later, but these are all intrusions and different ways that, and shapes of intrusions underground. And at the top is that pyroclastic material coming out of the volcano.